Hi everybody, it's uh, Jason from the Centre for Computing History and I am here with Phil. Say hello Phil. Hi, hi Phil. <laughs> um, we have got, um, we're getting ready for the Acorn event this weekend. Um, we've got lots of machines on display, which look, we're starting to look a little bit like that. Um, but more importantly, uh, we have got a toy, um, it's not really a toy, it's an educational device, uh, called uh, the Valiant Turtle. It looks a little bit like this. Um, so some of you probably just uh, brought back a lot of memories uh, of your school days. Uh, the Valiant Turtle was a, a little robot um, and it could be controlled by uh, the BBC Micro or some other computers too. Um, and you could type in commands to the BBC Micro um, in a language called Logo and you could make the turtle move and you could have a pen in it and it could draw shapes on the floor. Um, so Phil, what have we got on the screen here? Right, uh, it's just a little one-line logo program that I've just whipped up to draw a square, basically. Okay, so repeat four and then forward 200 and right to 90. 90. So when, when we run that, it will start moving. <laughs> Slowly. Slowly, <laughs> but surely. Look at that. So... A lot of you may not have seen this for, um, well, let's not talk about how long it's been. Um, but for a while, let's just say that. And uh, yeah, so this was, this was in schools around the country. Um, Logo was a brilliant uh, language for just thinking about you know, the, uh, procedural um, ways of thinking, logical um, step programming. Well, it was actually before. designed for learning, wasn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, so Logo was something that uh, a lot of probably 40 somethings, maybe 30 somethings as well, um, got scripts of the school and this is the kind of thing you would have had uh, in your school, drawing things on the floor, ideally on pieces of paper as we have here. We haven't got the pen in it yet, um, we're going to save that for an event, um, so if you come along and you'll see that working at the Acorn event this weekend. Um, thank you very much for that Phil. I should say actually a little bit of technicalities here, did you notice there's no wires on this? That's not bad for 1980s kind of tech, um, it's infrared. Yep. Uh, so we have this little box up here um, that controls it, that links to the BBC Micro via the ribbon cable um, and sends infrared signals down to the turtle. So that's got a pretty cool tech uh, for that time, uh, quite impressive stuff. It's the sort of thing you might do these days with, uh, say, an Arduino and a Wi-Fi connection or a Bluetooth or something like that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So this is all good stuff. This is uh, the turtle, um, back up and one in again uh, 30 years later or whatever it's been, I shudder to think. Uh, on the BBC Micro running logo. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, uh, come and see us this weekend. Um, it is the Acorn weekend. Um, we've got lots of interesting stuff. There's an Acorn A500 there. A lot of you might not know that even existed. Um, lots of other bits that we're currently setting up, uh, including Archimedes. I'm going around this the wrong way. Let's start at the beginning. Um, Acorn System 1 in the box there. Um, Acorn System 5. Uh, the Atom. Uh, something else that's just a blank board. Um, don't know what that's going to be. Uh, this is the very first issue, issue one, of the BBC Micro. Uh, this is Steve Feber's um, prototype, in a way, of the BBC Micro. Um, that's we've seen a video on the channel before. Um, and then just a, a Commodore Garden B with loads of software that'll bring back some memories. Look at that revs, image and missile base, good stuff. Um, an American BBC Micro, is the lid off that? No, it's not. Inside that, it's just full of metal. Um, all RF shielding. An Electron with a demonstration cartridge there, running some cool graphics. Uh, what have we got over here? What are we running on this one? Oh, the Sentinel. Um, so this is the BBC Master, the Sentinel. Um, and various other things. I'm going to do another video over the weekend uh, that talks about this. This is some of the, the original ARM chips. That's the original ARM1 processor there. Um, and some other bits, but I'm showing off everything before it's finished, so that's no good. Um, anyway, come and see us this weekend uh, at the Centre for Computing History. If you love Acorn um, or you love uh, turtles drawing on the floor, um, then come and see us. Cheers.